I love the freedom of getting out on trail all alone. I love solo backpacking because I get to choose where I go, how far I go, and where I want to set up my tent each night. I get to decide how many miles a day I want to hike. I can stop to soak my feet in a creek or swim in a lake if I want to. Solo backpacking is empowering. It's a huge sense of accomplishment. It gives me a chance to face my fears straight in the face. And solo backpacking is just one foot in front of the other. It's undistracted me time and it's really fun. At the beginning of August of this year, I left to go solo backpacking the Pacific Crest Trail here in Washington. Hopping on the PCT at Snoqualmie Pass, I headed southbound or Sobo towards Cascade Locks, Oregon. For 17 days and 250 miles, I'd solo backpack this section of the PCT. Along the way, I went swimming in alpine lakes, ate some of my favorite snacks, got a bit of trail magic, camped at 10 sites all by myself, took in all of the beautiful views, visited various landmarks, watched countless sunrises and sunsets, got eaten alive by the bugs, and soaked my feet every chance I got. This trip reminded me how much I needed the solitude and my me time out on trail. So here's how I went solo backpacking along the Pacific Crest Trail for 250 miles this summer, all the way from Snoqualmie Pass here in Washington to Cascade Locks, Oregon. Let's go hiking. Day seven on the PCT, doing a little road walk from White Pass, it's about 6.30. Today, I have a big climb, 16 miles, but like 4,200 feet out of White Pass up to a tent site just below Goat Rocks, Old Snowy, because that will be tomorrow. It's also supposed to be hot and there's gonna be a lot of bugs. Already covered in deep, got my bug net ready. Let's go hiking. Yep. This is my life right now. Bug net life. 100% deet life. <sighs> Lots of bugs. Oh, and the bug net's really nice because it helps prevent me from eating the bugs because that's never a great experience. Pickles could be such a delightful treat <laughs> on trail. Real quick, ladies, have you been wanting to go on a solo backpacking adventure but feel overwhelmed and don't know where to start with planning a trip like this? Are scared of camping alone? Not sure how to handle wildlife encounters? Need help getting gear and food sorted out? Keep making up excuses of why you can't get to the trailhead? 
Are you letting your fears or other people's fears talk you out of going alone? Or maybe you're just tired of waiting for someone else to go hiking or backpacking with. If you want to learn how to be more comfortable and confident with getting out on trail by yourself, I've created an online program just for you. The Confident Solo Female Backpacker System is a comprehensive, self-paced, online, women-specific backpacking program that will walk you through step-by-step -step everything you need to know in order to plan, prepare, and build up your confidence to comfortably and safely go on either your first or next backpacking trip solo. In addition to the online program, students of the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System also have access to live weekly group coaching calls where you'll get customized feedback, a private online community of other like-minded female hikers and backpackers, and the opportunity to join me for day hikes and backpacking trips throughout the year. Want to see if the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System is the perfect program for you? Sign up for a free one-on-one -on -one Zoom call where you'll speak to me live and get all the details about the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System and ask any questions you have about the program. And if we decide you're a good fit for the program, you'll get the opportunity to enroll in the next class during our call. Click the link below to either sign up for your free one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me or to be notified when the next round of enrollment opens up for the Confident Solo Female Backpacker System. Okay, back to the video. This is the day that I've been both the most excited and nervous about going up the knife's edge and going up Old Snowy. It's gonna be steep, loose rock, beautiful views, but I'm really nervous. Let's go hiking. Going up Old Snowy is another 800 feet. You go up and you have to go down and I just don't feel comfortable with the loose rock and the views are beautiful. Uh, I'm perfectly happy taking the PCT. There is gonna be a snow traverse, so that could be interesting. So we'll see how this goes. happy with my decision to stick on the PCT instead of doing Old Snowy. Even though, looking over here, the trail looks pretty well established. I'm just not very good on steep, loose rock beyond my comfort zone. Now on the PCT, there was two pretty decent sized snow traverses and the second one I put my micro spikes on just because I just felt more secure and I feel good with that I feel really good with my decision now becomes my favorite part of the day going downhill and then up to Sispas Pass which I'm so excited to see again It's the 
longest, but the least sketchiest snow traverses so far. But I also have my micro spikes on, which I'm really happy with that decision of putting them on. Just because it gives me a little bit more traction, a little bit more confidence, and it makes it a little bit more fun. Because I don't feel like I'm gonna die. It's not morning, it's actually more noon because all of this morning was super buggy. I was completely covered with my bug net, my rain jacket. There's a little bit of rain. I woke up this morning at like four to thunder off in the distance with some lightning and so many bugs. Did I mention that there's a lot of bugs? This section actually, the bugs are a way calmer, but the last section pretty much all morning, I couldn't stop because I'd stop and I get swarmed by bugs and I've got bug bites everywhere. Not every day is amazing and wonderful and beautiful out here. Sometimes it just sucks and it's full of bugs. Today's kind of one of those days. Today is a town day, heading into Trout Lake. Left camp at about 6.15, and uh, been seeing a lot of northbound hikers. Camped with three of them last night. Crypto, Knuckles, and I can't remember the other guy's name, but 10 miles into town, I hear thunder. It looks like it's gonna start raining any minute, so I'm gonna boogie, let's go hiking. 